Hello, my name's Sharon Wallace and I'm the Director of Midwifery at NUH. Uh, I've been in post since June 2021 and I'm really pleased to be here. Uh, I know there's a significant amount of work to do following on from our CQC inspections uh, and our team is absolutely on that journey to improvement to ensure that all women that come into the service have safe care. We deliver around 8,100 babies every year, so it is a really busy service uh, and we're really sad and sorry when we don't get it right for, for some women and their families, but we're working hard to make those changes. So some of the things that we've done is around separating out our triage area at Queen's Medical Centre uh, from the B26 ward, that's now a separate area. We've implemented a, a single advice line so that women can just ring one number for any of their issues or advice uh, and that's working really, really well. We've invested lots of money in staff training, in new equipment. Uh, we're continually recruiting into our vacant positions uh, and we're looking at everything that we can to ensure safety for all our mums and babies uh, and that is a continuous journey that we're on. We don't know when the CQC will come and inspect us again, but we are in regular contact with our external regulators such as the CQC, the CCGs, NHS England, and we have to provide assurance to them that we are actually making changes. And I'm really pleased that we have a really good relationship with them and that, uh, that they're pleased with the progress that we're making. We are undergoing an independent review, so this is around our cases going back some 10 years and this is a team that is separate to NUH that is looking at incidents and how they were managed to look for any themes uh, and anything else that we need to address. So we're really supporting that and engaging with that and that report will come out at the end of next year hopefully. So while I'm talking to you I thought it would be useful to have an update on Covid so we've seen a significant increase in pregnant women having COVID infections and while at the start of COVID pregnant women weren't too affected, we've certainly seen that this year uh, and we often have pregnant women with COVID infections on our delivery suite. We've made some really fantastic changes in that we have a virtual COVID ward so if you're pregnant and you test positive for COVID you must ring the maternity services and what we do is we monitor you from home uh, we give you a pulse oximeter so that measures your oxygen levels in your blood and we also give you blood thinners because we know that COVID infections can cause some women to develop blood clots and we uh, offer regular support from our medical team for a couple of weeks and also if women have had COVID infections then they need to be scanned two or three weeks after the infection just to make sure everything's well with the baby so please if you do have covid and you're pregnant you must ring us and let us know so that we can put you into our care unlike the rest of society the hospitals are still working within covid restrictions so really nothing has changed for us so when you come to the hospital with your partner we would ask that you wear masks uh, or visors if you can't wear masks and keep them on at all times we can only have one person attending when you come for scans and no children are allowed in the departments at all. We need to make sure that we keep our most vulnerable people safe and that includes our newborn babies and we're seeing pregnant women are more at risk. The reason that women, pregnant women are at risk is because you're less likely to have been vaccinated in the first offers for vaccines. Uh, and we do know that, that there's quite a few pregnant women that, that haven't had the, the vaccine or are a little bit concerned about it. So I would really urge you to talk to your midwife or your GP, but really to have the vaccine. It is safe in pregnancy uh, and it's the best way to protect you and your family. So when you come into hospital, there is restrictions on visiting. Partners can come in for, for labour and birth. Uh, and then for designated times on the postnatal ward. It absolutely isn't what we want to do, but it, we have to follow national guidance and that's the advice that we're given from NHS England. But we will try and, and do the best that we can to make sure that your partners um, are, are informed and, and as involved as they absolutely, as much as they absolutely can be in, in this time. 